Hello and welcome to City View, where we give you an inside view of the City of Columbia. I'm your host, Leisha Yitzi. In our top story, we bring you the press conference where our Community Development Department recently kicked off the City Lender One Uplift Program. Mayor Steve Benjamin, along with other city officials, were there to make the announcement. The importance of focusing on affordable housing and, and, and workforce housing uh, and, and, and making sure we support the redevelopment of more public housing is because you want to be a city that reflects a great strength and, of diversity. Uh, that people who live in this city um, uh, or work in the city ought to be able to live in the city. We ought to be a, a, using uh, the, the, the levers that we have under our control, use, using uh, uh, community development block grant dollars from the federal government, but also general fund dollars to continue to be creative and, and innovative in trying to find more and more solutions to creating good housing here in the city. The city's Office of Business Opportunities recently held commercial retention and redevelopment workshops for small business owners. We went very quickly through pretty much the whole process of the program, uh, having a, a meeting on site, establishing what your improvements are going to be, um, what it, what's entailed in writing the specs, getting it out to bid, pulling together the package, uh, submitting it, getting it approved, and then actually doing the construction. So it, it's been very uh, busy. We had a very interactive class, a lot of great, great questions. The city's planning and development services team are continuing their efforts to spread the word about Columbia Compass Envision 2036 during public open house sessions. We've gotten a lot of feedback from a lot of people and there's been a whole diverse uh, set of different implementation strategies people want to see. Obviously the riverfront keeps coming up. They want to see uh, really responsible development along the riverfront. Redoing our corridors is a big one, is sort of making sure everything's walkable and everything is safe. We're still getting feedback. Um, we're doing a survey online. You can go to ColumbiaCompass.org to take that. And then so after these sort of round of meetings, we're going to be putting together uh, sort of the final draft of the plan and we're going to be putting that out to folks here in a couple months. And as we continue to develop our city, we're always excited about new businesses opening in our city. Hendrix in downtown Columbia recently held their ribbon cutting ceremony and Mayor C. Benjamin was there to welcome the new opening of a new business. Columbia is a city rich in traditions, and the Harambe Festival has been held for the past 30 years here in Columbia. Councilman Ed McDowell recently presented a proclamation to Dr. George Devlin at Benedict College, who founded the Harambe Festival 30 years ago. And speaking of traditions, for the past 15 years, the Auntie Karen Foundation has sponsored the Legends of Concert Series, for which the City of Columbia has been a sponsor. This year, the Legends of Concert Series welcomed the famous Isley Brothers. Every year prior to the concert, the Legends of Artists always sponsors a master class for local students. And this year, students at Eau Claire High School were given the benefit of meeting the Isley Brothers one-on-one. -on -one. Well, spring is almost in the air, and the City of Columbia and Columbia Water were proud to be co-sponsors, along with other partners, for the Blue Thumb Landscaper Conference. In an annual tradition, Mayor Steve Benjamin, along with the American Red Cross, have sponsored the Columbia Lifesavers Blood Drive. This year was no different, and City of Columbia employees lined up to give blood to help others in our community. It's always, you know, a positive environment when people are coming to do something for other people, um, to make a change in the community, whether it be big or small, whether that means you roll up your sleeve or you volunteer um, with a canteen, registration, that sort of thing. Um, and we've seen quite a few people in here today. Well, that wraps up this episode of City View. 
thank you for watching and stay tuned to City TV for all the latest news and updates about the City of Columbia. For additional information, you may also visit our website at columbiasc.net and make sure you follow us on our social media platforms on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And if you're looking for our shows on demand, you can always find them on the City of Columbia's YouTube channel. Again, thank you for watching and remember, we are Columbia.